bring you back to your childhood right here. Some teachers, right? Yeah, here we go. All right, little pep music right there. All right, here we go, another one. What do you know, what do you say? Here we go. So today's screencast is very beneficial for you because you will have now the ability to change your own password on Launchpad, meaning you can change your password from home if you're out for an extended period of time, if you forgot your password at home, or if it expired when you were at home, or you know, over the summer, right? A lot of the password resets go on, and then you come back in the in in the you know the beginning of the school year, and you know your password. Um, instead of you know worrying about trying to track down either me, Melissa, or Tom, now you can do it yourself. It's pretty cool, man. You can, you can do it yourself. Which ninety nine percent of the other online websites, you can have a password recovery. Now we do Launchpad. Here we go. All right, here we go. So first thing you have to do is you have to actually set up your password recovery options okay what i mean by that is the following you have to set up something that the computer recognizes that it can help you reset your password so first step sign into your launch pad right just like you normally would okay bam all right so now right see little guy right here no face right click on that bad boy right there all right and then you hit uh right here, here my profile my profile right and look at this Bam, password recovery setup, okay? Here we go, password recovery setup. Click on that. Booyah, right there, okay, here we go. So now, you have three options, right? You could either have a phone number for your password recovery, an email, which I don't advise doing because if you can't get into your launch pad, you can't get in your email, how are you gonna reset your password? So, I would just do this right here, right? Come up with three questions that you can do you could answer, obviously, so you could change your password, right? All right, so here's what I chose, all right? You know, what is the middle name of your oldest child? I think I put uh, the right, let's do it again. Daniel. Daniel, by the way. All right, what was your childhood phone number? All right, I'm not going to give that out because it's still an access. My parents were like, who's calling me? Who's calling me? All right, what's your favorite color? All right, I have one, right? Uh, I think it, it's gray, but I think that uh, gray is not a color, so maybe I'll change it. Like, let's see, uh, what is your... Uh, what is your childhood nickname? I, I don't I don't want to reveal it, but some people nowadays call me the walrus because I have, a, you know, I guess I have a mustache. By the way, it's real. Um, so let me do, I don't have a pet. Uh, let's see, I, I guess I do color, right? So uh, gray, gray is a color in my mind. I don't know, our teachers let me know. Right? So, gray, right? So now let me move my little face over here. All right, so now, Hit save questions, right? So now you're all set up, right? Answers have been saved successfully. So now, right, do a little test, right? Sign out. And then, like, you come to your uh, launch pad and you're like, oh, no, what's my password? I forgot it. Or it changed or, you know, whatever. So what do you do? You hit help. I forgot my password, right? Bam, right there. Click on that bad boy right there. And there you go. Put your username in. Okay, a little checkbox, and there's your three questions. What's the middle name? Daniel. Phone number? Got that right there. Your color? Your little check mark? Bam. New, put your new password in, confirm password. And that's it, folks. Right? Now you can change your own password. All right? So, again, stay safe. Be cool. Have a good day, my Newberg people.